Something that consistently comes up is uh, the idea or the insistence that uh, antinatalists are being straw manned or that their core arguments aren't being addressed. One thing that I'm sort of a little bit blurry about, and it's hard to sort of nail people down because it looks like every antinatalist answers this uh, or addresses this issue differently and doesn't feel any obligation to answer for any fellow antinatalist's position on the, this issue, and that's that of ethics. From, say, seeing antinatalism as a simple lifestyle choice or a decision not to have kids, um, or even to ha not to have any more kids, or to, say, the red button, the infamous red button and beyond, there seems to be a gigantically diverse swath of ethical options, um, applied antinatalism, I suppose, out there. How can one actually address this? How can one address the fact that whatever you say about an antinatalist's core beliefs um, are pretty much, uh, or are just as likely to be contradicted by another antinatalist? What does this actually mean? Um, for example, in the, the idea of vegetarianism, a lot of people believe that, um, the, or a lot of people opt not to eat meat. They think that that's unethical or whatever, for whatever their, their reasons are for not doing that. Uh, and, you know, this goes into meat is murder. Um, I would say probably the majority of, anti of, of uh, vegetarians simply choose not to eat meat. They pass by the meat section in the grocery store and don't put anything in their cart from there. But then there are people who do seem to sincerely believe that meat is murder. Okay, um... What would antinatalist ethics be? Um, and I suppose I'm asking antinatalists this. It's just I don't want to straw man antinatalists or imply that they're totalitarians when they are not. Um, but a lot of people are disturbed by what they see as the implications of antinatalism, um, particularly those heading in the general direction of the red button. So I would just like to see what antinatalists would, uh, what steps they would take to apply their philosophy to the real world. This is usually where philosophies run into so much trouble, as we all know. Thank you.